And now let's meet our first contestant. Will you come in and sign in, please? Well, I just thought it might help them if you did. Yes, oh, please. no, that's wrong. I can't do that. Once again, panel, actually, uh, we have asked, had to ask our uh, challenger to use the letter Y instead of X, because you had X last week. But obviously, the name might have some connotations which we think would be too helpful. However, we will ask you where you're from. London, England. From London, London England. England. Nice to have you with us, sir. Thank you. The panel, Mr. Y. Why? Panel, will you come over and join me? Do you uh, know how we keep score coming from London, England? Yes, I have some idea. All right, fine. No answers. We flip a card, ten no's, and you've won the whole game. All set? Then let's let the folks at home and our friends in the audience here in the theater know exactly what your line is. Mr. Y is self-employed, and let's begin the general questioning with Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, Mr. Y, do you have anything at all to do with any form of sports, entertainment, or amusement? Yes. Uh, are you what might be called a performer yourself, either in the entertainment world or in sports? Um, well, some people call me a performer, yes. Uh, do you, well, do you do any of your work uh, as a sort of a game or a contest? Yes. Are you a member of a team of any kind? Uh, sometimes. Oh, is it also something that you could do without being a member of a team? Yes. Do you ever do it out of doors? Yes. Is it possible to do it indoors? It's possible, but not likely. Uh, is it um, something at, at which men play more often than women? More often, yes. Are you at present affiliated with any team? On and off. <laughs> Goodness, I think I'll pass for the moment. I, I Thank I you very know. much. <laughs> You're welcome, Tony. Now, I remember reading something in the paper last week about some British sporting event. Were you involved in that event? It no. made the New York... I, well, I don't think I was. You... I, I may not have read that one. <laughs> I got a nice fast <laughs> no, didn't I? You read in the paper about a British sporting event, and you wished to know if our guest was involved in that event. Yes, that makes it one down and nine yes. to go, Miss Francis. Now, Mr. Y, it really is something that would be unlikely indoors. I mean... Yes, actually, yes. Or it You're, could be done indoors, and I think it has indoors. been done indoors, but so it, it is, it, it's not... I may done. rule out auto racing, I don't think you're which bad. is hardly ever done indoors. Well, now, no, actually, I don't want you to, to, to rule out anything, because as we've answered your question, it's don't this way. Out. Don't rule but it that's out. that's what he, he is. just won the race. I know it! <laughs> Yes, there yes. was just an enormous auto race that, yeah. uh, there wasn't? Yes, down in Just wait, we have to have a little meeting here. May we have a little you meeting? You may have 15 seconds for a conference. He won it with a Ferrari. Did you win it with a Ferrari, dear? Uh, did I? No, I did not. That's two down and eight. I'll thank you to keep your... Then uh, we've been led down the garden path, and it's correct that you are not an automobile racer. Is that right? Is your I question, you are not an automobile racer? I, I, well, I'm going to say, uh, are you an automobile <laughs> racer? <laughs> Am I an automobile yeah. racer? Yes. You are? Yes, I'm afraid so. <laughs> Weren't you just in this race down in Florida? Yes, I was. But not in a Ferrari. But not in a yeah. Ferrari. Mm -hmm. No. What were you running? What were you racing in? Uh, Porsche? Yes, sure. Yeah, an Aston Martin. Aston an Aston Martin. Martin. Actually, you ought to meet our challenger. We'll throw these over anyway Tony because. Knows his name. What, dear? Tony knows his name. What is his name, Tony? Is his name not Tom's? Tom's? Yes. We'll take them all back again. <laughs> <laughs> then we can get some. <laughs> we'll throw yeah, them all know. over. I didn't Mr. Know Mr. Sterling Moss. I mean Moss. Sterling Moss. Get names mixed up, Sterling Moss. Actually, uh, Tell us a bit about the Sebring. You were doing very well, and then things went a little bit awry for you, didn't they? Yes, the, uh, unfortunately, the gearbox. Um, we had some trouble with the gearbox during the race, which put us out after about, uh, I think, five hours. But, and you were leading when you had the trouble? Uh, just about to, as a matter of fact, not yeah. quite. 
Actually, I think that uh, so that you have everything in perspective, you should know that Mr. Moss has won most of the major races, automobile races in the world. The Grand Prix of Europe in 1957, the Grand Prix of Monaco, the Grand Prix of Italy. In fact, I guess anywhere they have a Grand Prix, you usually find Mr. Moss running out ahead of everybody else. And we're sorry that you had the bad luck with the gearbox in Florida, but hope you had a good visit with us. Yes, we did. In America and here in the program. And I'm could sorry we didn't give them more one, trouble. I'd like to ask one professional question. Yes. Uh, Mr. Morris, what do you think the best racing car is today? Well, sir, I have to drive practically all of them during my business, and so uh, wouldn't, I wouldn't think it's better not to time. answer that, because somebody's sure to be dissatisfied. <laughs> 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 Nicely done, Mr. Morris. There's a man ought to be here, and I ought to be leaving. Thank you very much. Good start, panel.